Hi YouTube. Today I want to talk to you about this sunscreen. It's called Outthermal Events High Protection SPF 50 Lotion and it is it claims to be 40 minutes water resistant and it's for sensitive skin. So I hope you can see this. Okay. So I purchased this sunscreen back in May of 2018 and I was inclined to purchase this for a few reasons. Aven is uh, a very reliable and a popular brand from France and they make good products. They also cater to people with sensitive skin so I was inclined to anything that Aven had. However, one thing I uh, that makes me hesitant to try out Aven products and purchasing them is that they're expensive. So. This was on sale, originally priced at $25 at Shoppers, and I was able to get it for $20. And I was inclined to purchase this sunscreen, especially because of the ingredients. So it's a combination sunscreen. It has chemical filters, as well as one physical filter, which is titanium dioxide. I'm not a huge fan of titanium dioxide. Personally, titanium dioxide leaves a very disfiguring white cast for me so let's see how I can blend in so I got quite a bit on my hand so I'm just rubbing this on the backs of my hands and hopefully it does blend in really w well so I think you can see the white cast on my hand it does blend in really well when you put it on your face and you rub it in properly I'm not sure if you're supposed to really rub it in um, but I rub my sunscreen in. I've noticed that on first application, there is slight white cast. However, the white cast disappears or gets less noticeable. I'm not really sure what the right term is, but in my in visual on, on visual inspection, the white cast disappears. However, if you reapply the sunscreen throughout the day like you should, the white cast becomes more apparent. So that is, one thing I didn't like about this particular sunscreen, although it's very, very cosmetically elegant on your first application. So if you have darker skin tone than me, I would proceed with caution if I purchase this sunscreen. Also, if you have lighter skin tone, I think you should be good. Another thing I wanted to talk about is this sunscreen has a mild fragrance. So I didn't realize this while I was looking into uh, looking on the box of the sunscreen, I was paying more attention to the chemical, f uh, the active ingredients, which is the sunscreen filters. It does have fragrance in it, and although the fragrance is very mild, and it says the sunscreen is for sensitive skin, I hesitate from trying products for skincare that have fragrance because I have sensitive skin, and over time, fragrance can cause irritation and in worst case scenario can cause photo um, sensitization and dermatitis so this sunscreen is not a good choice for that reason but otherwise this I, I, I enjoyed this sunscreen I have quite a bit in this little package here you get about a hundred mils so it's quite a bit of sunscreen that you get at a decent price um, and that's about it. I'll see you next time. Bye.